Vlad squeezed his eyes shut tight. He was awake, but he wasn't incredibly happy about it. Weekends, even summer weekends, were meant for sleeping in. Especially when those weekends were spent hanging out super late under the full moon because your vampire genes won't let you go to bed before they've had their fill of nighttime. Even more so, when you only had a matter of days before the joy of summer would be over and the dread of school would begin. A low buzzing sound drifted over his face, paused, then moved again toward his right ear. He popped open one eye and glared in disgust at the housefly that was hovering about the room. So that's what had woken him. The fly fluttered over and landed on the tip of Lad's nose. He swatted it away, and when it took refuge on his pillow, he smacked his hand down to squash it, but missed. Vlad grumbled obscenities under his breath. <coughs> what did the fly have against sleep, anyway? Flapping its tiny wings, it buzzed across the room and landed directly on the center of Henry's forehead. After a moment of hesitation, Vlad crept over to Henry's sleeping bag. He raised his hand slowly, giving the fly one final chance to move. He whispered, Don't think I won't do it. The fly responded by washing its gross little fly face. If it could have spoken, Vlad was almost positive it would have laughed at him. Vlad brought his hand down fast and hard. The slapping sound his palm made when it hit Henry's skin echoed throughout his bedroom, but was shortly covered by a yelp from Henry who sat up clutching his forehead. Food! Vlad straightened his shoulders, triumphant in battle. There was a fly. Henry rubbed his forehead, snarling in disgust. Well, did you at least kill it? I think so. 